Welcome to my first ever Funko Pop comic haul. You know, Funko Pop haul, not a comic haul, should I say? It's a my Funko Pop haul. Um, I've been very, very, very limited in what I've gotten in Funko Pops. Like I said before, I've gotten, I think I had six or seven. I had two Spider-Man, two Stan Lee, a Thanos, and a... Uh, a Denver Broncos football player that was at my at my LCS because I just I love that it was really cool it's my favorite players so I had to have it so I've had six Funko Pop I've had some others but I sold my Batman Who Laughs and uh, um, sold the one that I wanted as a prize so just I've been just very limited in all that so I just didn't there's something I just didn't want to get into at the time. I didn't want to really want to get into just because I didn't really have I have a limited amount of space so I had to um, think I think you know, I'd have to get creative in how I store them but um I just didn't I just didn't plan on getting into it and all that but uh <laughs> um I like I like submitting uh you know uh, submitting I'm putting pictures on Instagram and tagging uh, Discovery JDB on Discovery Bay and all that I love seeing if I can get a a shout out an Instagram tag of the day it's one of those things I like to do on Webhead Wednesday, or First Appearance Friday, or Mutant Monday, Multiple Comic Monday kind of thing. I just love seeing if I can, you know, what we can do. So, so a couple of times, like, I missed out because I only had a comic book. It's like, oh man, JV's gonna force me to get into comic, or uh, get into Funko Pops. <laughs> so I went into my LCS today, or yesterday, after I worked, and was just looking around the comics, buying a few things to, uh, sell and um i was looking at the funko pops and i just started pulling up a, a, a pop off the sh pop off the shelf here and there and before you know it <laughs> i had a good stack of funko pops that i was buying so this is my first ever funko pop haul i think i'm officially gonna be getting into it of course i'm just like my comic book collecting i'm gonna be focused and narrowed i'm not getting every single pop that I can get my hands on. It has to be a certain character or a certain style kind of a thing. So, and also it has to help me out on my quest to be uh to get the Instagram tag of the day. You know, it has to be has to be tag team with the comic book. So I have to get you know I have to be strategic in how I buy my comp pops. So first up, first book I have or first pop I have is. Uh, Walgreens exclusive of Craven the Hunter. So, really, really cool. It's not the, uh, it's not like the first cover appearance, um, of Craven the Hunter, but it's just that 80 years thing, but it'll go really well. It will go really well with my first appearance of Craven the Hunter. You know, on ASM 15. So that one. Next, um, Funko Speciality Series Limited Edition Exclusive. A Funko Pop of Electro. This is the uh, this is the first cover of a uh, first cover appearance. You know, uh, first of uh, an ASM number nine. And again, this one goes really well with my coverless copy with facsimile reproduction cover. So, be really well. Once I have it, it's great at all that. It'd be just really cool. So, I figured when I was looking through there, a good place to start collecting Funko Pops would be a, a appearance as a, Sp a, a Spider Man villain. You know, it's a really cool thing to set up. So, I had four villains 
picked out. You know, I grabbed, I grabbed a couple of them, but I grabbed a couple of villains here. So, really excited about this one here. Vulture and his first appearance for you know, a year in ASN number two. And I'm just super excited because I just got back into my collection. Amazing Spider-Man number two. Half, um, not a, not a 1.0 like I sold. It's a half point lower, but it's a, it's actually a better presenting cover to me. You know, I just, I like this cover, um, more. You know, so. There are some little, you know, the chipping area and a small piece missing that I just, I don't like. But you can't be, you can't have everything, but this is really nice to have. ASM2 and the Funko Pop of the first appearance of the Vulture to go with it. So. Alright. <clears throat> Next up. I love the Fantastic Four, and my favorite member of the Fantastic Four is the Human Torch. I saw two Johnnies there. One, you know, one where he had his hands on fire, wearing the you know, Fantastic Four uniform and all that. But I like him here, so I just liked him as the actual, you know, human torch, you know, in all suited up. You know, really cool. So I really love the human torch. He's my favorite Fantastic Four. He's he has fire. He can fly. He's just, he's really cool. I love Johnny. I love how Chris Evans. And in and, and did them in the movies, just really nice that cool Fantastic Four. You know, the the reboot of the Fantastic Four is the one where I mean I enjoyed the movie, but the character wasn't the same. You know, I you know. Alright. Another Walgreens exclusive. The Sandman. You know, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Goes real well with my first appearance of Sandman that just got back from CBCS. 0 0.5, but that's because it's missing the back cover. You know, hard to get, hard to get the grade you want, uh, hard, you know, what, um, the grade you want sometimes, but for 250 bucks, first appearance of the Sandman, you know, not bad. So, nice little tag team duo there. This is actually the first Funko Pop I picked up. So I thought it was really, really cool. It reminded me a lot of, uh, you know, a Dr. Octopus here and uh, Spider-Man. Well, duh, it reminded me, and you'll see in a minute. But um, it reminded me of uh, Superior Spider-Man. It is Walgreens exclusive Octo Spidey. Let's get that angle just right. So. Pretty cool. There's three pops to this one here. The Spider-Man Future Foundation, which I don't like. And the Spider-Man Bag, Bombastic Bagman. But I like the Octo Spidey here. And the last pop I got is a uh, mutant one, an X-Men, an X-Men one. My favorite X-Men, uh, X-Men character in the entire thing. I, mean, I love Magneto, I love, you know, a couple other people, but my favorite X-Men, my favorite mutant is Wolverine. I'm just really, really cool, love Wolverine. And I got this one, you know, his first appearance, or first full appearance, shall we say, because technically he does appear in 180. It says his name and everything, full pa full page, not full page, but full panel, has a speaking role, names himself. So, really, really cool. Anyway, but yeah, so nice, this has got seven Funko Pops. <laughs> I doubled <laughs> my collection overnight. More than doubled since I'm pretty sure I have six. I had six before, now I have 
you know, 13, so like I said, I more than doubled my collection, so. Got to find a solution really quickly to have them. So I'm thinking I have a, I'm thinking I have something picked out, but we'll see how well that works, so. All right, a little extra bonus footage here. I have two more pops to show you. So I bought seven before, and like I said, these two extras I'm gonna add, I added, so. I bought two more pops. So I had a grand total of nine <laughs> pops in a haul. That's a pretty big, uh, pretty big, you know, sudden uh, jump in my pop collection. So the first one is Cyclops from the Marvel 80 year here, Cyclops, part of the uh, first appearance covers, you know. And this is how I like it. I actually like a lot of these first appearances more, I think. I think something about Special Batch, the first appearance of a character. Really cool. Maybe it's just because of the ASM, you know, 15 one I really like. Anyway. So, and the last pop I got was Marvel Girl. The other first cover. So I have three X-Men pops. You know, Wolverine, Cyclops, and Marvel Girl. Or Jean Grey. And I got this one. So now I can also do for uh, tags for um, uh, Women Women of Power Wednesday. So, so definitely really cool. So this is the fe first female pop I got. So, so a bunch of cool pops. So. And also, I wanted to show you guys, actually, I wanted to show you, show you guys, it'll be at the beginning of this clip here. So, I hope you guys really enjoy the beginning of this uh, episode here. My very, my new introduction to my channel. I worked, worked on it myself. I thought I did a really cool job. You know, in fact, I might have to add something to it here, <laughs> you know, for pops, but maybe not. Maybe, who knows? I'll figure it out. I mean, I might have to do another retro, uh, retro you know, create another... <laughs> I'm messing up. I'm sorry. I'm... It's been a long day. But I might have to create a new uh, intro, a third intro, you know, 3.0, with Pops, if Pops will be a part of my collection. Right for now, it's still a minor thing, so I won't add it into the collection, into the intro just yet. But uh, it if it becomes more of a thing, I'll have to add Pops to it, because... You know, you have to represent. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you love my new intro. Leave a comment down below what you think of the intro. If there's any way I could approve it. Or um, if you, or just what you think of the intro. So, this is, not, it, this is an idea that came to me one day and I wanted to act on it. So, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, happy collecting and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.